Hey everyone, it's your Admiral here and welcome back to the Ark. We're back on Extinction Core today and I'm actually by myself. Now you guys, I want to let you in on a little bit of a secret. So, last time I was in here, I actually tried to bear trap Wombat. I made six bear traps and I covered, I basically surrounded him in bear traps. But he didn't, he didn't get caught guys, like I don't know how, what have I done wrong guys? I have no idea, why do I suck so badly at trolling? <laughs> but yeah, but we're definitely gonna have to get you back. I did try to give him a haircut, but I don't think it's worked. I tried to dye his hair pink, but it just looks like a really cool shade of purple right now, which he actually really liked, so that was a fail. <laughs> But you guys, I just really wanted to bring you back up to speed on what's been going on with our little base. Now, the last time you saw it, I didn't really want to show you the house because it looked terrible. It, it just wasn't even finished. But I've added some stuff to it. I've added a little bit of a deck here. You can kind of walk around like this. And I've added some detail on the walls, trying to make it look just look a little bit more professional, <laughs> I guess. Oh, oh, stuck at everything. Okay, so I'm just going to give you a little bit of a tour, guys. So I've kept the dodos up here, and these are actually the three dodos that we had rescued from our first base on Herbivore Island. Um, and I've actually changed the name of this dodo to Sergeant Mrs. Dodo, because she's actually the first one that we had rescued from there. So, yes, yeah, so the dodos are still alive, guys. Um, I've set up a preserving bin over here, and it's full of really, really great stuff. I've been making some jerky. Um, I'd made tons of dodo kibble in case we find another high-level pteranodon. We'll be able to kind of tame it a little bit faster than we did before. Um, I've got a bunch of other goodies here as well. And you guys, I've actually made crop plots. <laughs> I think I might be the first on the server to make them. I just knew that we'd need them, so I kind of got on top of that as soon as I could. We have a smithy here, and then if you come down here, I've got storage. We have got our workbench over here which I still haven't quite used yet I mean I used it to make scissors to troll wombat with, but that's kind of all I've done with it so far and the other thing guys I wanted to show you is that I did actually tame up another jerboa now if you guys remember we had a jerboa called Jerry <laughs> we rescued it from the jaws of that awful alpha stego over there and we brought it all the way over here but of course as we would expect wombat got it killed so yeah so he killed it when he was fighting stuff when we were trying to tame the unicorn so i tamed him another one and this time it's sergeant terry too so hopefully wombat i hope you like your new jerboa friend because he kept trying to steal my jerboa and i was like you're not getting that killed this is my special little jerboa so yeah <laughs> All right, you guys, I just wanted to bring you back quickly so I can show you what's been going on with the crop plot situation. So I had some compost bins set up here and they're slowly making fertilizer. And the thing is, this is the first time I'm actually playing on a server, you guys. So I'm really not used to the fact that stuff just keeps on going whether you log in or not so i mean if you're not careful if you don't fill these up with fertilizer the plants do actually eventually die so i've been kind of trying to be as careful as i can and making as much compost as i can so that i can keep up these crop plots obviously this is just a temporary setup because i do really want to make a greenhouse one day guys because that's going to be awesome so a greenhouse is definitely on our list of stuff we need to do but for now i think this is fine so <laughs> it's like a super ghetto <laughs> garden going on here but but it works guys it's just going to be super handy for us in the beginning so if anyone else needs crops or anything they can just come over here and steal them from me <laughs> now one thing i would love to be able to do is actually be able to get water from down here all the way up there but i'm not really sure how to do it in a way that is not a big pain in the butt and looks terrible i mean the only thing i can think of doing is actually making a pipe an intake pipe and bringing it all the way up here that's gonna look like super bad so if you guys have any ideas on that please let me know in the comments below otherwise i think it should be okay i mean we can just go down and get water from here very quickly but it is kind of nice to have a little bit of a tap up here okay guys i see a drop i think we're gonna go get this Okay, so what do we have here? Got a bunch of stuff there. <laughs> I'm not even sure what it was. The drops can be like going down to get drops in Extinction Core, guys. It's a bit of a thing. Usually I just kind of run in, grab whatever I can, and then <laughs> run out as soon as we can. So it's not anything too special. It's just more of the usual stuff, really, you guys. So I'm going to have a little bit of a fly around and see if there's anything interesting that we can do today. 
I kind of really wanted to find a high level male prime dodo just because wombat has such a high level female and I just thought it'd be so awesome if we could breed them and how cute would the babies be guys so let's just see what level are you guys down here we have a 240 that's not really good enough where's the other one where's that teal colored one what level are you 180 no that's not really good enough i want it to be at least over 300 so i'm gonna have a little bit of a fly around and we will see what we can get into uh oh i see some tribesmen over here gosh the bane of our life right now <laughs> they're so annoying what level is this tribesman over here 160 yellow tribe i still haven't figured out the differences between the different tribes and stuff um, I think some of them definitely are more powerful than others, you guys. So I think we're just going to give that a wide berth for now. And we are going to continue our search for something interesting that we can tame. Guys, I'm just actually trying to take out this Dahedon because it's killing some of our beavers. And there's a high level beaver there that I really want to tame. Stop it. Stop killing all the beavers, jerk. This thing has so much health, it's crazy. Yeah, take that yellow tribe, Deodon. That's what you get for messing with my beavers. <laughs> okay, you guys, so I did spot two of them there. So there's a level 340, and there was another one that I saw somewhere. Yeah, so there's a level 160 and then there's a level 340, I think. So what I might do is try and aggro the higher level guy and then get it to come across the water and then let's just see if we can try and tame it over at our side of the island. Okay, so I looked in their little dam. Are you going to come at me, bro? Yep, come at me, bro. Come on, beaver. Come on. Come on, beavers. Okay, so let's just slowly lead them over here. <laughs> Come on, little guy. I don't know if this is our beaver that we were looking for. Hold on. All right, you guys. So this is actually not the beaver that we wanted. So I'm sorry, buddy, but you're going down. <laughs> yeah, we don't want you. We don't want your kind here. Where'd you go? Okay, so let's just take out this beaver here. guys have a lot of hit points it's kind of crazy actually <laughs> okay well I'm just gonna have to shoot you in the tail then buddy okay so that's fine so beavers down so we just need to find our other beaver friend and I really would love to tame up one of these guys just because guys we really need wood <laughs> we desperately need wood here there's like no wood anywhere so <laughs> yeah Okay, you guys, so I've spotted our 340. So I'm gonna go here and see if I can get it mad. Get it super mad at me. I'm just gonna steal all your stuff, beaver. <laughs> okay, so she's coming. I think it's a she anyway. So let's just lead her over to the other side, like we did before. Come on, little beaver. I know you wanna be tamed. <laughs> I know that there's actually tribesmen over on the other side. Probably isn't the best thing to do, but I really want this beaver. Okay, so let's just park over here and hopefully she follows us. Yep, she's coming right over here. All right, beaver, you just stay right there and I'm gonna go ahead and grab some stuff. Oh my goodness, you guys, look at the size of this coal. What are you? Hold on, Let me, why can't I focus on you? <laughs> it's huge. What is that? Level 23.7 times? Oh wow, that is insane, guys. <laughs> okay, so let's just see if we can find our little beaver. I definitely did lead it over here. I'm not sure where it went. Where are you, little buddy? Oh, look, you guys. It's in our own little personal pond. Oh, 
Okay, so I'm gonna see if it comes out of the water. I think it's coming out there. Okay, you guys, welcome back. <laughs> I'm actually in the middle of taming up this guy and I totally forgot that these are passive tames now. Completely forgot about that. I had some vegetables in my inventory and I was getting all ready to like knock it out and shove the vegetables up its butt, but it doesn't want them. Yeah, I mean, it seems to just like medjo berries actually. So this is gonna take an absolute forever, guys. This is gonna take so long to do, but we're gonna have a beaver by the end of it, and probably in the most non-violent way ever. <laughs> Where are you, buddy? Stop swimming around. Oh, this is so annoying. Okay, guys, we're just gonna have to do our best. I probably will end up losing a lot of taming efficiency on this just because I'm not that fast. We don't have any scuba or anything like that, so I'm, I'm super slow in the water, and the beaver is super fast. So we're just gonna have to try and do our best, guys. <laughs> so hopefully it doesn't swim around too much and we'll be able to get some berries in his butt. <laughs> there we go. Okay, guys, so I'll bring you back once this guy's tamed or if anything else happens. Haha! -ha! <laughs> I've got you trapped! <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna finish up the tame here. I managed to kind of get it trapped, as you can see, very badly. Um, it's at 99.2% taming effectiveness, which actually isn't too bad. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, but you're going to be amazing. You're going to be our wood gathering dino. So hopefully this doesn't take too long. It was kind of the biggest pain in the butt swimming around after it in the water because it is so much faster than I am. But you guys, this is actually so much easier than regular arc <laughs> to tame them. <laughs> and here I was, I had all these narcotics out. I had my rifle ready and I was totally ready for a big fight to go on. But yeah, this is this is great, guys. <laughs> so I'll just bring you back when this guy's tamed. And you're a female, my favorite kind of beaver. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> we got our beaver, you guys. Now, I have a perfect name for you. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Let's have a look at you first of all. Come on, calm down, calm down. It's all good. It's all good, beaver. Oh, look how cute you are. That's so adorable. You guys, I've always thought that the beavers look a bit like a wombat. So, I think we are going to call you... <laughs> we are going to call you Wombat. <laughs> Just because look at his butt. It's so cute and fluffy. So yeah, so you're going to be our little fluffy beaver. <laughs> Now you are going to be super awesome wombat. You're going to be the best thing ever. Just because, guys, there is like a super serious lack of wood here. Yep. <laughs> There's like no wood over here. And we're just, we just need a ton of wood, guys. So, um, well, we all know that beavers, they love wood. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So let's just get a saddle for you. And then hopefully we'll be able to ride you around. And we can get tons and tons of wood. All the wood. <laughs> okay, you guys, so here's actually what you need to make a beaver saddle. You need 290 hide, you need 200 fiber, 100 metal, 180 thatch, and 140 cementing paste. I would say early game, probably cementing paste is the one that you're gonna be struggling to find, but it's actually not too bad. Are you ready for your saddle, Wombat? Okay, so let's just put this saddle on you and let's just take her out for a spin. I'm so excited. Guys, I actually forgot to show you the stats. So she's got more than 5,000 health, 1,350 stamina. We've got, I've pumped her weight up a little bit. I think she started off at 750 weight, which is actually really, really good. We've got so much melee here, guys. So you're gonna be amazing, Wombat. You're actually the highest level beaver that I've seen so far. Um, you guys, if you guys don't know this, I have such a soft spot for the beavers in this game. Look how adorable they are and they're so useful and you can use them as a smithy and they're just, they're super, super cute. So these are actually one of my favorite creatures in Ark. And I love the fact that they can swim super fast in the water. Wow, look how much wood we got. <gasps> That's amazing. Oh my goodness. Look at all this wood, guys. Guys, we are never going to be wanting for wood now. You're amazing, Wombat. You're my new favorite dino. <laughs> and you guys, I wanted to show you my prime dodo. I totally forgot to mention this as well. But me and Wombat actually tamed this in the last episode. It's up on his channel so you guys can watch that because it was kind of a bit of a fail. And we basically failed to tame a unicorn, which he was super excited about. So he's named it You Killed My Unicorn, which, by the way, guys, is totally false. I did not kill his unicorn. <laughs> but um, but yeah, so I, I need to come up with a better name for you. But this prime dodo is amazing. So she 
tamed at level 532. It's not as awesome as Wombat Swan Sky, but she's amazing. And I love the color of her. I think she just looks cool. She looks like a turquoise sea or something. So let's just see how well she does. Yeah. Come on, Lost Up. You're going down, buddy. You're going down. Whoa. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that was actually way faster than I thought it would be. But yeah, so she's pretty incredible. And I'm actually totally in love with the Prime Dodos, you guys. They are so OP, it's unbelievable. Like, not only are they super fast, they've got so much stamina. Like, look how fast this thing is. It's unbelievable. They're really great at gathering thatch. Stamina is, like, pretty much endless. And they're so, like, powerful, you know? And if I am to breed anything, I definitely want to breed these guys. Because they're awesome. They're cute. They're powerful. And that's basically everything I need in the dino. No. <laughs> oh, and I forgot to mention, they're really, really great swimmers as well. This, this Carbonimus, this you turtle, come out here. Fight me like a man. Yeah, come out here. <laughs> yeah, this turtle is going down. Goodbye, turtle. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah, I can't believe our first fall. My first attack dino is actually Dodo. I think, just think that's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, so these guys are really, really awesome. So you can gather berries with them. Oh, look at this, you guys. It's a juvenile. Oh, no, wait, it's not a juvenile. It's an adolescent dodo. That is so cute, you guys. So what you're actually meant to do is tame them like you would a normal tame, like a passive tame. And then you need to raise them like you would the babies. But it's kind of a lot of work just for a dodo. So I think we're just going to leave that adolescent there. It's probably going to get eaten anyway. Okay, guys, I'm going to take on these prime dodos. Yeah, get out of here. Gosh, I hope this I'm not in over my head here. <laughs> Hopefully not. Oh, they're running away. You guys are so stupid. Yeah, take that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll be fine, guys. I think we're totally... Wow. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> yeah, we did it. <laughs> yeah. Can't do anything, Prime Dodos. <laughs> all right you guys so yeah so i just wanted to show off my new prime dodo and i just i just really love it i just think it's awesome and i would totally totally be that person on the server with an army of prime dodos <laughs> you guys look look what i just found directly outside of our house it's a level 560 pelagornis now, I'm pretty sure this Pelagornis has brainworms because it has literally been circling around like that <laughs> for the last hour that I was here. So I don't know how we're going to be able to knock it out without it drowning. I'm going to see if I can get it to come over onto land. Let's just see what happens if you go over to it and punch it. My goodness, it's totally got the brainworms. Oh, you need taming food to tame it. Oh gosh, is everything like a passive tame here? This is so strange for me, guys. Okay, so let's just see if we can go find some fish. All right, you guys, so I've just killed some fish now, and I really want to see if this is going to work. I'm not sure. It did say put taming food in last slot, so <laughs> let's just see if we can do a little bit of a water tame. What is wrong with you, Pelagornis? Why are you going around in circles? Oh my goodness, it is! <laughs> wow! That's amazing, you guys. We actually already have a Pelagornis saddle. I found it in a drop. It was either me or Wombat that found it in a drop. So this is going to be amazing. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. So guys, I'll bring you back once this is tamed. Um, there's definitely, definitely something wrong with you, buddy. What, what are you looking for? What is down here? Why are you swimming in circles? Wow, this is going to take a long time, guys, I think. Whoa, if you stop for a second, yeah, this is going to be kind of a thing. But <laughs> we'll get there, you guys. I would love to have a Pelagornis. <laughs> you guys, it is literally swimming around in circles around me. I mean, I guess, I suppose it kind of likes me then, huh? <laughs> this is so bizarre. Probably one of the weirdest things I've ever done. <laughs> But you guys, it is working. It is just taking forever. Oh my gosh. Get hungry. Oh no, you guys. It died. Why did it die? But I don't understand. I didn't even do anything. 
Oh no! Why did it die? What is going on? Is it is it because I passive tamed it? Oh no! I was so excited about that Pelagornis and now we don't have it anymore, guys. Oh, why? <laughs> why, cruel world? Why? Oh my goodness, I have no idea why that happened, you guys. If, if any of you know why that is, um, please let me know down in the comments below. It's actually happened to me once before when I was trying to tame a Listro and I was there passive taming it, but then it just kind of just died like it just kept getting bloody even though nothing was attacking it and and it just died oh i feel super depressed about that now oh man i was so excited about that pelagornis i actually really love the pelagornis guys i think it's one of the coolest birds i mean apart from the tranodon obviously i love the fact that you can basically fly on them and then land in the water and just swim and then you can gather up so much fish and it's amazing but we lost it you guys I'm so sad. Galadriel. It's your fault, isn't it? Damn it. <sighs> Wombat, I think you need to give me a hug. I could definitely use a hug, Wombat. No. <sighs> well, that's depressing, you guys. <laughs> oh, look what I'm doing. Oh, I crashed before I got on. That is super weird, guys. Don't do that. That's just so strange. Aww. She's so upset. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, that was a fail, but at least we got our cute little beaver one. But I mean, this makes it worthwhile, right? <laughs> All right, you guys. I think I'm going to finish up here today. I hope you guys had fun and and hopefully we can tame up a Pelagornis next time and not fail so badly at it. I wonder if we knocked it out and tamed it that way, if it would be okay that way. Probably. I'm guessing that's probably what I should have done. I'm not really sure. This mod pack is all kind of new and, and cool and awesome to me, but I, there's still so much of it that I don't know. But anyway, you guys, I hope you guys had fun. And until next time, Admiral out! <laughs> wow, that was kind of rude one, but... Ha <laughs> ha